Ahead on Ram News, love is in the air. Our entertainment correspondent Amari Frazier caught up with some students and faculty to learn about their celebrity crushes. The Rams are heading to state and Tyner TV's Siandre Tarvin has your first Ram sports coverage. And our College of the Week is a Southern Dream. The Russian and Ukraine conflict intensifies and Tyner TV's Isaac Jones has your weekend weather update. Ram News starts now. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Jalen Sims. We open up with new developments surrounding the Ukraine and Russia conflict. The Russian and Ukrainian conflict is starting to take a drastic turn. Russian President Vladimir Putin has gotten more bold with his tactics, where he recently striked missiles in a Ukrainian district close to NATO territory in Poland. However, in Kiev, the Russian military has lost more than 10% of combat forces that were originally sent in the first wave, and 15,000 of them have been killed. As the war progresses, new images feed into the newsroom of buildings being used as bunkers or being demolished with children inside. Ukrainians warned the Russians of child presence, but Russian troops continued to bomb the buildings. Ukrainian's President Vladimir Zelensky has called onto the national stage for help with giving Russia more strict consequences. Ukraine is not a part of NATO. The Tyner Academy Rams obtain a win during their first game of the TSAA Blue Cross Championship. Our reporter Tiandre Tarvin and entertainment correspondent Amari Frazier was there. Here's their report from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. The Ram train was halted after their loss against Milan. Coach EJ Ward was struggling in the first half to keep the momentum that the team had when competing against Bolivar. It was also reported that before Milan's game, our basketball players went bowling. Hopefully next year, the Ram train will put through to win the state championship. For Tiny TV Sports, I'm Tiondra Tarvin. The Tyner Academy administration hosted a fish fry in support for the Rams basketball game against Milan on the gym's patio. Adrian Wiley sold fish for $10 a plate and raised enough money to put students on three buses. Yesterday, the Rams competed against Milan. We'll have your game highlights on our next episode. Our entertainment team went around the school to ask students about their ideal celebrity date. Here's Amari with your newest Man on the Street. If you could take a celebrity on a date, who would it be and why? Um, Ruby Rose. Uh, she bad, my mama. She like the baddest light skin I've ever seen, no cow. Nigga not, cause she got that chick. If you could take a celebrity out on a date, who would it be and why? Mulatto. Cause she got that bad. <laughs> <laughs> if you could take a celebrity on a date, who would it be and why? Pusha Ice-D. If you could date a celebrity, who would it be and why? Beyonce, cause she a bad and she got money. Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Nicki Minaj, have you? <laughs> nah, she's a beautiful woman. Okay. She's a beautiful. Thinky. She's a thinky. She's a beautiful thinky. woman. Okay. And that's why. Thinky. I would do be Megan Good. I'm infatuated with her. ever since Eve's by you. This week's College of the Week is one of Georgia's most prestigious institutions. We head one hour south from Atlanta to Mercer University, Macon. Mercer University is a private research university with its main campus in Georgia, founded in 1833 as a Mercer Institute in gaining university status. In 1837, is the oldest private university. Mercer University is ranked 162 in the native universities. Schools are ranked 
according to their performance across a set of of set of excellence. Applications require very good grades in high school to get in Mercy. The average school GPA of the admitted freshman class at Mercy was a 3.7 on the 4.8 scale. The school ranks number five in Georgia for the highest average GPA. The average ACT of Mercer is a 27, and the average SAT is a 12.63. I'm Mariah Carter with College of the Week. Tyner Academy seniors learned about the importance of voter registration by attending an event here in the gym that is facilitated by the women of Delta Sigma Theta. The Theta Row chapter of Delta Sigma Theta partnered with the Leagues of Women Voters where they held a voter registration event for Tyner seniors. We're out here trying to help everybody with voter registration. Um, it's very important for young people to know that they have a voice, especially when it does come to voter registration. The women of the chapter talked about the importance of voting and provided students with facts about local elections in Chattanooga. We're also wanting to take an opportunity just to educate on the voting process and what that means for you as students, the impacts of being able to vote on your school, school board member, your county commission member, and the fact that every vote counts here at the local level. We hope you'll show up to the polls. Reporting from Chattanooga, Jalen Sims, Tiny TV. We did experience light snow last week, as predicted here on Tyner TV. And Tyner TV's newest weatherman, Isaac Jones, presents you with your weekend weather update. Good morning, my name is Isaac Jones with your weekend weather update. On Friday, it's going to be a high of 65 and a low of 51, with a chance of rain. On Saturday, it's going to be a high of 58 and a low of 41. On Sunday, it's going to be a high of 67 and a low of 39. This is Isaac Jones with your weekend weather. Our newest teenage CEO is a senior whose hairstyles has everyone going crazy. I sat down with Tierney Hitchcock, who is the CEO of T-Styles. Tierney Hitchcock is a Tyner senior who is involved in an assortment of extracurricular activities. In addition to being her own CEO, Tierney is involved in the National Achiever Society, National Honor Society, Student Council. She is an AP student, cheerleading squad member, honor student, dual enrollment student, and is currently in the top 10% of her class, where she serves as our school's salutatorian. But her academic success isn't the only thing that she is going crazy about. Her business all braided up, and the heads of multiple Chattanoogans have been used as her canvas of creativity. She's been a natural braider for some quite time, and originally started working at Wendy's in Walmart until she had the motivation to start working for herself. I wanted to be a braider to become my own boss. I didn't like working for the white man. And it's like I'm making more money and I get to make my own schedule and yeah. I'm Jalen Sims. Good night, everyone. <laughs>